Welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, for more information about Bookmap, go to bookmap.com. <clears throat> There's a free trial. Uh, it's 14 days and it comes with education. Okay, you get access to the Bookmap educational course. Um, you also get access to the advanced order flow webinars, and those start in about a half hour every day, uh, every weekday. So um, uh, we look at the live markets there and uh, go through um, uh, what Bookmap is showing you. Uh, this webinar that we have every day at 1030 uh, is about just showing the basics and getting understanding of what Bookmap is. Uh, so um, uh, that's open to everybody. Uh, but once you have that understanding, uh, then uh, you won't ask uh, questions regarding that. Uh, so you will we'll be um, answering questions much more about uh, the market and order flow uh, in the advanced uh, webinars. Okay. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Let's take a quick look at the website and go through it here. Uh, just uh, drop down into the about section. You can see the intro video here is a couple minutes long uh, to get a basic understanding of what Bookmap is. Uh, and then uh, the about sections uh, just gives you an overview of what Bookmap is. Uh, and then uh, there is Bookmap for equities here, okay, with the uh, NASDAQ total view. And uh, it's a really great data feed if you are, are interested in trading equities. Uh, a bit further down, connectivity. Okay, this is important. This is how you connect Bookmap to the live markets. Bookmap is a trading platform, okay, uh, and it connects via uh, these uh, different uh, data providers here. Okay, just like, uh, uh, you, well, you can see here, there are some other trading platforms here as well. We are a trading platform just like Ninja or uh, TTX Trader Pro. Uh, however, we also connect to Ninja via the API of Ninja, all right, or, or uh, from the API of uh, TTX Trader Pro, uh, as well as tra interactive trader, interactive brokers, traders workstation. Okay. Uh, however, you can connect Bookmap just like a uh, regular platform by inputting your um, credentials for your data feed directly into Bookmap, and uh, that's the best way to go. All right. All right. But further down, here's where you can find the free trial. It's 14 days. There's basically just one version of Bookmap. It's $49 per month. Uh, it's billed quarterly. Uh, however, the, there's different features here that make up these other offerings. Okay, for Bookmap Advanced, for example, the ability to trade right from the chart. Okay, uh, as well as these proprietary indicators that we put together uh, to. Um, uh, help you identify, for example, larger players. Okay, uh, the large lot tracker. Uh, these are these are order flow uh, indicators that we've developed, uh, and gives you uh, an edge in the market. Uh, iceberg detector, starting to understand where the icebergs are uh, in the marketplace. Okay, so uh, uh, some some nice uh, indicators there. Uh, comes with the advanced package. Okay, for quants, uh, and there have been several lately uh, reaching out to us. So uh, you want to learn more, uh, click here. Uh, you're going to have to probably want your own uh, connection to your own data, uh, proprietary indicators, etc. Okay, if you're not sure which uh, book map uh, plan is right for you, you can click here. Uh, if you need a data plan, okay, uh, data provider. Well, there's free trials that are available out there. So you can give Bookmap a free try for 14 days, as well as click here to give a free trial to some uh, uh, data providers, okay? All right, uh, you can also follow us here on social media, uh, at Twitter, uh, some nice stuff. Look at this image here that was just posted uh, uh, the other day. Uh, this is a um, uh, ignition algo uh, here. Uh, and uh, w what you're looking at here is, uh, well, let's just click on this. Uh, this is a great image. Um, uh, it is, uh, looks like it's a NASDAQ uh, futures, and uh, uh, you can see that the high liquidity here. And look at how they are skewing the order book very quickly, probably trying to press price up into the orders that are up above here. 
Okay. And um, it looks like it was pretty unsuccessful. In fact, it looks like the uh, the sellers took them on here, and this guy's uh, uh, got filled in this area here. So, anyway, interesting stuff there. Um, the um, uh, YouTube page. Uh, you can also subscribe uh, to our YouTube page, and uh, you can see all these uh, videos here that we have uh, in our playlists. We have an intro playlist. Start there. Uh, features and components give you an overview of what Bookmap is and how to use it. And then these order flow video snippets, very concise uh, videos that go over what Bookmap uh, is uncovering for you. Okay, being able to understand absorption, exhaustion, uh, volume, uh, and liquidity in a trend or flip of the uh, order book. Uh, these kinds of concepts uh, or phenomena that we see every day in the market and we uh, this is the kind of data or information that we go over in detail in the advanced order flow webinars because uh, you see it all the time. All right, so uh, let's jump into Bookmap and uh, take it from there. Um, I think I'm just going to look at the uh, the NASDAQ today. Uh, we had a um, uh, kind of a gap fill uh, in the NASDAQ and uh, uh, some interesting, uh, interesting stuff to take a look at. Um, now, before I jump in here uh, into Bookmap and and what you're looking at here, uh, let's just go over the basics uh, because this looks like it's really complex stuff, and uh, it looks like um, uh, no other chart that we are really accustomed to. It's actually really simple data, uh, and there's only three things that we are providing here. Uh, one is the historical best bid and offer. The next is the volume that trades on that historical best bid and offer. And then the third component uh, is the uh, the order book, a historical view of the order book. Okay, so uh, I'll get into that de in details in a minute, but you're looking at where they're offering and bidding historically and the heat map, this grayscale here. That's what we're looking at. Okay, that's, that's all there is here to the chart. Right, and uh, it offers significant transparency. Uh, and uh, why is that? All right, so let's uh, start off with candlesticks. And uh, I'm going to take everything else off of the chart here, uh, and I'm going to show you how uh, candlesticks are, are very opaque and not giving you much insight here. Okay, and how Bookmap uh, uh, solves that issue uh, by giving you the insight. Okay, so for example, just looking at this chart here, we have candlesticks, open high, low close of a five minute period, and we have uh, volume down here in the subchart. Okay, so we know there's pretty significant volume down in this area. And that's really all we know. Uh, you can read the wicks and the and the bodies and you know of the candles and try to gauge where they might be trading, but we really have no clue where the volume took place. Okay. Uh, there's going to be microstructures in here. Okay, we can see that we continue to make lower lows here. Well, we're going to see a microstructure in here, uh, and these these kinds of reversals, or if this reverses here, and we'll take a look and and see if we uh, see a reversal pattern uh, forming. <clears throat> but um, uh, you know, we're going to see microstructural areas broken, uh, and then uh, that's going to lead to the bigger reversal. Okay, so uh, we're going to turn on the uh, historical best bid and offer, and now we can see what comprises uh, this open high low close here. Okay, so we see a lot of sideways action here, a breach of the low, and then we moved up and we went above these highs right here. Okay, we fell right back down into the middle of the range, and that's currently where we are. Okay. But understanding the microstructure here is, is already going to give you a, a significant advantage. Okay. So, for example, one of the, uh, one of the setups that we cover uh, in detail uh, during the live order flow webinars is understanding this little level here. Okay. Let's look at right here and how we uh, tested and breached that low and we turn right back up to it. Okay. And then we sold off again. Okay. So this auction here was successful. It auctioned below this range here uh, and it accepted lower. Uh, and you see the sell off here that it incurred. Okay. So 
looking at this candlestick chart though, what do we see? We don't really see anything here that's giving us any insight to that. Uh, and uh, and this little this little pullback here is a beautiful entry uh, for continuation to the downside. Okay? And we don't have any clue here uh, where the volume traded uh, within this area here. Okay? We don't know what um, how much traded, uh, what type of volume was it aggressive buying or selling, and most importantly is uh, where it traded uh, within these candlesticks. Okay, we just have a sub chart here, and that's it. All right, so let's turn on the volume and let's take a look. Okay, and uh, so now uh, with the volume dots, uh, we can see exactly where uh, volume traded here. And uh, in fact, let me zoom in a little bit more uh, and uh, let's go over this example. Okay, so this is where really what occurred within all of this uh, uh, price action here. Uh, you see significant volume trading at lower lows. Okay, and we go sideways here for a bit. Okay, we see some buyer, buyers starting to step it up in this area here, but we come right back to where we broke from in this structure up here. Okay, here's our 930 cash open as well, and this is where we originally broke. This is originally it's the same same um, uh, setup that was I was just covering, looking for a return back to where we came from. Okay, and are we going to accept or reject? Well, it looks like it wants to, um, uh, it's looking pretty good actually in this area here. We see significant buying uh, in the uh, upper area here. Uh, we don't see a lot of selling down here. So we get a retest back up here, but it's at this area here where we break and uh, we see significant selling, okay? Uh, and uh, again, that same, that same pattern, that same setup uh, occurs here, okay? Here's where we broke from, and this is right where we came back to. Okay, and then we can gauge in this area here. Well, are, are there significant buyers? Okay, uh, if so, then I'm looking for continuation to the upside. Uh, and this is just, we're just covering the volume and microstructures right now. Uh, but um, uh, we get our answer down here, and we see significant selling starting to come in. Okay, and uh, that leads to this complete breakdown of, of price. Okay, and we can we can see the selling over here as well. Okay, more selling. Okay, up here it looks pretty good uh, for buying, but uh, there's more selling down here, and there's more selling here hitting the bid. We break down below, we come back up, and we uh, we we see there's not a lot of buying up here, and we we continue to break down to the to the downside. Okay. All of this kind of activity here is completely lost in this candlestick chart. You'd just be basically uh, 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 shooting in the dark. Uh, you wouldn't, we wouldn't know uh, where this volume traded. Uh, we wouldn't understand these breakdowns, uh, and we wouldn't understand um, uh, the returns back to these areas where we broke from. Okay, so it's very opaque here, looking at this candlestick. All right, so that's the volume and uh, let me cover the volume just a little bit more uh, because I want to show you exactly what we're showing you it's uh, on, on a, a, a you know sub second level uh, because this is very simple data okay uh, and uh, I'll zoom into this area down here and let's just take a look okay this is all we're showing here is historical best bid and offer okay we're down at, at millisecond level here so thousands of seconds Okay, and this is the historical best offer. And this is the historical best bid, the red line. Okay, and we see this green dot that that occurred here. Okay, we can use the the uh, data tip tool, uh, and it gives us the date, the time, what was on the ask here, and the volume. This is for volume of one. This little green dot. Okay, that's all. That's what occurred here, right? And this is a recording of historical best bid and offer and volume. Okay, there's actually a uh, a sell order over here. If I zoom in and note how actually, okay, as I uh, as I start to zoom in, look at the spread uh, that actually widened out uh, a, another tick here, and then it caught up with the uh, with the offer. And then this is this uh, trade here or this event that took place was for a volume of seven. Okay. Now as I zoom in though, note how I'm actually pulling apart that bigger dot. And showing you exactly what traded here and note that we are now down at microsecond level okay and I know that this is for volume of one three and three 
okay? So um, uh, we, we're showing you every single detail uh, and every single market event that took place. However, uh, we're giving you, uh, although we're breaking it up and showing you all that detail, we're giving you the overall uh, delta and understanding of what occurred there uh, when we zoom out and we compress the timeline and, um, and start to show a, a bigger dot, okay? That comprises many trades, okay? And as I zoom out more, you'll note how uh, uh, there will be, uh, well, some of these areas over here, there's many trades that took place, okay? Uh, but uh, so many so many trades took place, we need to show, show you the overall uh, delta of that uh, activity with the uh, pi display of the dot. Okay, so if I hover over this area, it's for volume of 243 contracts, and the majority of it was actually buying here, which is interesting because uh, we're, we're dropping. But it's almost kind of, you know, it's getting to 50-50 here. Uh, these buyers here are, are, are certainly on their, on their back leg uh, and going to be covering at lower levels as they get squeezed out. All right, but uh, uh, this is one of the things that we look at actually uh, pretty often. Uh, but um, uh, anyway, let's not get into that detail. Um, the um, uh, We're understanding exactly what comprises the volume, and we can see who's winning the battles at these areas because we can see exactly where it's trading, this volume. Uh, and that's what uh, what gives us the insight uh, here in Bookmap. All right, so um, now let's... Uh, Zoom out, go to the current market here, uh, and um, understanding the volume and understanding uh, where the um, uh, or the microstructures and the breaks of these microstructures and the volume uh, together uh, offers a significant advantage. Uh, however, there's another piece to the market here that we uh, don't see, and that's where they're bidding and offering, right? And uh, uh, book map. Uh, uh, will show that uh, historically, and it'll show it currently as well. How we show it currently is with the dome. Here's our dome right here. Here's our price ladder, and you can see the depth of market right here with this this column, the COB column. It's showing me the depth here on the offer, and it's showing me the depth on the bid. Okay, and this is the best bid and offer right here. Okay, this window here is the same data. All right. Uh, and um, it's showing me be current best bid and offer and last traded volume. Okay, now I'm going to turn on the heat map though, and I'm going to show you the current market here. Okay, the heat map is a representation of the numeric values here in the dome. Okay, so very high liquidity is painted bright white. Okay, note how uh, uh, pretty volatile here. Like uh, they just came in with high liquidity in a, f in a few areas and then pulled and then added higher, and they just uh, added up here uh, on the bid as well. There's a lot going on at the moment, uh, and um, uh, very high levels of liquidity, as you can see here, 77 versus like 30 contracts, so double the amount, and right to it. We just went right to it there, okay? Uh, and, uh, and some of that traded, right? Some of it was pulled as well. But we can start to gauge and understand uh, the activity uh, in the current market in this window here with the adding and pulling of liquidity. Uh, in the historical market, though, uh, we can also re start to read it, okay, that behavior. And um, uh, here it is. Uh, like we can see high liquidity here, and it is being recorded. We take that, that data and project it on the chart historically. And look how they, they were here with high liquidity, okay, and they just pulled it and added it uh, a few ticks higher, okay? This has got to be the same player, okay? High liquidity, at the same moment they pull, they add up here, okay? Same player here, add, uh, pulled, added up here. So now we're not only, not only are we starting to understand the current market and the historical market, but we're starting to also identify the players, okay? We know that this player up here is uh, is this rather uh, uh, bullish. Uh, he's pulling his orders and adding higher. He does not want to be a buyer at lower levels. Okay, so um, uh, we can read that behavior here, and we can see it very clearly here in Bookmap. Okay, we're going to see all sorts of things. We're going to see spoofing. 
Uh, we're going to see a flip of the order book. We're going to understand the behavior of these traders in this auction. Here they are down on the bid at 95. Uh, and here they are on the offer up at uh, 03 and 03 and a half. And right now we're channeling in between that area, okay, of high liquidity. And we can tell, we already know that this guy here is not, not so keen on trading in this area. He keeps pulling it and adding higher. So uh, maybe we can see aggressive buyers step in, and maybe we can come up and test this 03 and a half area now, okay? And uh, uh, that's one of the scenarios that might play out here. All right. Uh, and um, uh, we, we see that they're starting to bid up at these areas here at 97 and a half. Okay. So we put all of this kind of data together and, and start to understand the context of the market. Okay. You have any questions on that? Uh, this, this kind of context to the market is, um, is key. Uh, we're not looking for some sort of specific, uh, uh, because there's a white line that then they pulled and then they added this or that. No, we're looking for the overall context. It's if, for those of you who trade volume profile, uh, you, you understand that, uh, you're looking at the majority of traders. Okay. Where are they dealing? Uh, or are not dealing, I'm sorry, where are they trading? Where are they committed in their trades? Uh, and then looking at low and vol low volume nodes, high volume nodes, understanding that, that context of a high volume node, and here are columns in book map here, uh, that the, the market can come back up to this 99 level and it can trade there because there was significant trading action there earlier. Okay, so... Um, uh, the uh, uh, or low volume note is that there is no trading here, so the market will exhaust out and rotate lower. Okay, and we just saw the uh, a, a beautiful example of a low volume node, and this is what it looks like here in Bookmap. Okay, here here is our breakdown below, and and what I uh, uh, failed to to cover earlier uh, is the figure here at 6300. This is a key level. Right, and uh, you can see that we failed uh, above 6,300 here. All right, so traders are not, are are not interested in uh, in in trading uh, at up here at 6,300. Uh, they think it's uh, not worth that. They think it's worth less, and we're seeing that play out here. Okay, so here's our price channel that we were witnessing earlier, and here's our breakdown from that price channel. Okay, and here's our here's our pullback. There's actually three of them: one, two, and three. Two where we broke from in this price channel. Okay, we actually could have come up a little bit higher, maybe up to here, because uh, this is truly where it broke from, uh, but we didn't. Right. So um, uh, instead, uh, it was this volume cluster here uh, that was the. Uh, 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 what traders were reacting to. And uh, we exhausted out of that area here in our low volume node. Uh, we can see the exhaustion, right? What does exhaustion look like in book map? Well, here it is here. Uh, we don't see a lot of trading up here. We see the volume clusters trading down here. And look at, look at uh, again here, volume cluster of, of uh, volume down here. And look at this little area on the pullback here. A okay, very little trading, if if any at all. Okay, so there is a skew of the uh, transactions here, uh, and that skew is to the downside, and we get price discovery further to the downside. Here's another example of exhaustion here. Okay, another example, other few examples here. Now a little bit of volume traded here, uh, pushed it up uh, just above. Uh, but uh, it completely exhausted out here and rotated lower. Okay. All right. Anyway, um, let me know if you have any questions uh, of what book map uh, is showing you and this uh, advantage uh, that you're getting with the transparency. Okay. Because we're starting to really put together uh, this auction, uh, and, and that's exactly what the market is. Uh, it's an auction. We're starting to understand where they're auctioning. 
here they are with at, at 82. Okay, and we're about to trade right into it right here, and we'll find out if these guys stay in the book or if they trade. And there they go. Okay, let's zoom in there. Okay, did those guys trade? Yeah, I mean they traded right into that high liquidity. Okay, and the majority of these contracts here, uh, there was 102 contracts on this price level. Okay, I know that. Uh, that's fact. Okay, uh, or 97 at this area here. I sh here's 102. Okay, and then uh, and then they started to trade into that high liquidity. Okay, here's 77 contracts traded. Okay, and um, uh, 105 contracts overall traded within this range. Okay, they traded through that liquidity. Okay, so these these buyers down here uh, stayed in the book. Uh, this was not fake liquidity. Okay, it traded, and that's important to know. Okay, we're starting to understand where larger players are starting to uh, uh, maybe scale in to their positions. When we start to understand that, we're starting to look for potential reversal. Okay, just like this, right? Because the uh, the larger players, and again, look look at this area here at 76. We trade down into that area, and look at the selling in here, the aggressive sellers. They're not so interested any longer. We're exhausting out here, okay, at 76, right? The buyers read that, and they're going to start to lift the offer at a swing level up here. Uh, we can see them starting to come in, okay? This is initiated buying, okay? And, uh, and they uh, uh, lifted the offer up to these higher levels. Okay, so uh, there, there's the distinction between understanding uh, this longer term high liquidity that stays in the book and trades uh, and, and uh, uh, they're absorbing on, on the, uh, the, the aggressive selling, okay, to the point where they came down and finally exhausted down at this level. And this is what that behavior looks like. Okay, looks like we want to come up and maybe test uh, the... Um, uh, well, our levels here, 96. Let's see if we can get up there. Let's see. Let's see. Look at 92 here as well. There's going to be a swing here, uh, and uh, start to understand this area here at 92. Uh, is there other uh, market information data that Bookmap is not able to show? Uh, yes, the uh, Tony. There are, um, uh, you know, with our um, uh, add-on indicators. Uh, we're, we can show uh, qu quite a bit of information here. Uh, let me turn on the indicators. Okay. All right. So, for example, uh, uh, note these little numbers here. Okay. Um, and this is not significant. So, let's see if we can maybe get more insight down in these areas here. Um, anyway, these these numbers, these, this is the um, um, uh, iceberg detector. Okay, and the green numbers here are showing me where um, there's iceberg orders. Okay, and we know that because uh, this algo uh, that we developed is able to read the limit order book, uh, what was provided there in terms of liquidity, and then exactly how much traded at that point. And this number uh, displays the difference. So more liquidity actually traded than what was in the order book at that time. And it's displayed with this number, All right? So that's the iceberg. And then you can see them also on the offer up here. Okay. All right. Um, and uh, that's just one. Uh, there's another, uh, there, I mean, there are several others. Um, there, we also have a sub chart here that's showing us the cumulative uh, volume delta. Okay, as an indicator sub-panel. Um, another one, all right, so uh, see this little white line here in the current order book that's showing the, the bars here. Uh, this is what, we, this little white line is showing us that like uh, a, a larger player is providing the majority of the liquidity at some of these areas, okay, like down here. And this larger player, note how when they're, they're pulling in their liquidity, like uh, we're seeing the, 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 the heat map showing us where the high liquidity is going. So basically, the larger players here are, are, are dominating. Uh, well, the, you know, we can see it very clearly here. Uh, uh, as soon as they're pulling, they're adding to other areas. Okay. 
uh, and um, and then we we noted the other area where they're getting actually filled as well. All right. Okay. Yeah. There's there are many others, Tony. Uh, but uh, uh, we got to wrap it up. And uh, for those of you who are in the in trial or uh, current customers, uh, we'll uh, we'll jump over to the advanced uh, order flow webinars right now. Okay. See you there.